Jimmy Butler just exploded for 56 points in a single playoff game, and with all things considered, it might very well be the greatest single game ever played. Welcome into the channel, and if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. But let's get to it. Butler just posted the fourth highest single game ever in NBA history, behind only Michael Jordan's legendary 63 points against Boston in 1986. Elgin Baylor, who dropped 61 points in 1962, and Donovan Mitchell, who put up a 57-point gem in 2020. Those make up the only higher scoring games than Butler had tonight. But for some context, Jimmy Butler's 28 field goal attempts in this game are lower than anyone else in the top 30 highest scoring games in playoff history. For some additional context, the game came against the number one seed in the NBA playoffs and a team that was the odds on favorite to win the championship just a week and a half ago. In all fairness to the Bucs, Giannis has missed the first three games in this series and he was extremely hampered in this game, putting in a heroic performance in his own right while dropping a triple double in his first game back from his lower back injury. An injury of which he still looks nowhere near recovered from. Nonetheless, Giannis posted a highly efficient 26 points on 12 of 22 shooting and added 13 assists and 10 rebounds in 38 minutes. The Bucks dominated this game for the vast majority of the contest as they never trailed in this game until there was three minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. They led by double digits for much of the game and were up by as many as 15 points. In fact, they were up by 12 in the fourth quarter alone. But Butler was unstoppable, pouring in contested shot after contested shot. The Heat were in jeopardy of getting run off of the court in the first quarter, but Butler responded with 22 points and 20 straight to keep the Heat in the game. And he did it once again in the fourth with 21 points, bringing them all the way back from the 12 point deficit in the final frame and are pushing the box to the brink of elimination. And with this series now being played out, with only one day rest in between games five, six, and seven, coupled with Giannis's back looking as bad as it still does, it's fair to suggest that Butler might not only have played one of the best games ever, but is having one of the best first round series we have ever seen, as Butler is now averaging 37 points per game on 63% shooting and looking to become just the fifth eighth seed in NBA history to advance past a number one seed, joining the 1994 Nuggets, the 1999 Knicks, and the 2011 Warriors.